Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video we are going to see about Thomas test. This is a concise presentation for medical students. Thomas test is an important test in the examination of hip. It is named after British orthopedic surgeon Dr. Thomas. It is used to rule out hip flexion contracture and SWAS syndrome. The aim of this test is to remove compensatory lumbar lordosis so that the flexion deformity becomes obvious. Now let us see about the procedure of Thomas test. In step 1, the patient lies supine on examination table. The clinician then identifies lumbar lordosis. This is done by passing the clinician's hand behind the patient's lumbar spine. In step 2, the unaffected hip is flexed. This obliterates the lumbar lordosis. In step 3, the patient is asked to extend the affected hip. Now let us see about the interpretation of Thomas test. If the iliopsoas muscle is shortened or a contracture is present, the lower extremity on the involved side will be unable to fully extend at the hip. This is known as positive Thomas test. This picture shows Thomas test. As you can see, the patient lies supine on the examination table. The unaffected hip is flexed. In normal patients, there won't be any angle between the patient's thigh and the examination table. Whereas in case of flexion deformity, there will be an angle between the patient's thigh and the examination table. We can measure this angle and this angle is the degree of flexion deformity. An important precaution to be taken while doing Thomas test is that the patient should not overflex the unaffected hip. This might falsely exaggerate the flexion deformity. What are the problems that we will encounter while doing Thomas test? Thomas test requires adequate exposure. So some patients might not be comfortable with this test. It is difficult to do this test in case of fat patients because lordosis can't be appreciated in these patients. It is difficult to do this test in case of painful hip or when both hips are affected or when the ipsilateral knee is stiff and deformed. If you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, please like, share, subscribe and tell your friends about this channel. Thank you.